often we love things to be in alphabetical order. It's easy to search through, easy to uh, find, index, that kind of thing. And uh, the database, uh, SQL, allows for us to order our data uh, depending on what criteria we, we wish to give it. So if you notice when I run this first query, uh, in fact, let's just select the product name. Product name. When I run this first query, well, there we go. It gave it. To, it gave us the result in uh, alphabetical order. Again, I said that on a previous video that order is not guaranteed. Um, if you wish to guarantee order, then I need to say order by the column name in which I wish to order. So oh, let's uh, run this again, and nothing really changed here. Uh, we could put an optional ASC out here, which is short for ascending. If you think about this as far as stairs go, we ascend upstairs and we descend downstairs. So ascending means smallest first up to largest, whereas descending means stop at the top, which is the, or start at the top, which is the largest, and work our way down to the smallest. Um, anyway, ASC or ascending is assumed. I could put DSC out here and rerun it, and notice that we get it in reverse alphabetical order. And when it comes to strings, as these are, they're character strings in SQL, um, SQL Server goes by their lexical graphical comparison, which is kind of a technical way of saying alphabetical order, but it's a little more detailed. You can look up that word on Google, I'm sure, and find lots more on the Internet than you'd ever want to know. But le lexical graphical, I think I'm saying that right, order. Okay, so let's 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 get rid of the order by here again. I'm going to comment it out. Notice that commenting is simply two hyphens. You can uh, highlight a large amount of of code and hold down Control and hit K and then C and that'll comment it. You can hold down Control and hit KU. That'll uncomment it. Oh, and notice that uh, SQL Server Management Studio uh, took some liberties and highlighted that last row for me. Anyway, I'm going to comment the order by out again. Run it. And uh, let's let's get let's return back to Splat and see if we can get some more interesting. Oh, okay. Look at this. Look at this. This is um, let's see. Let's select product name and quantity per unit. So, product name, quantity per unit. Okay. Now notice no product names are identical here, but it's still. And, and we, uh, SQL Server also, in this case, since I selected the second column, I'm not sure why we're getting the behavior we're getting that's internal to SQL Server, why we got alphabetical order when we only selected one column, whereas now we select two and we're getting uh, out of alphabetical order. But let me, uh, let's drop the order by back in here. Order by, product name, um, and let's just take this off and assume ascending. Uh, hit a five. And here we go, our product names are back in alphabetical order. And the quantity per unit um, also, these rows are, are seen as one unit, so the quantity per unit traveled with with the product name as well, which which is what we'd expect. We wouldn't want our columns within our rows being mixed up. That, that just wouldn't make sense. But, but that's order by in a nutshell.